over that ridge is Yorkshire. Land of the gods. Lisa and I are coming uh, to the Lake District again. Uh, last week Lisa wasn't with me, uh, but Mark and I went up to um, another Bothy that we hadn't been to before, and I tried to record it, not very successful. In fact, the sound quality was so poor, I felt that I had to actually put uh, subtitles underneath it. Um, not going to do it. This, not going to record in the same way. So this time it's going to be a better video, hopefully. Um, we're going to meet Mark. Um, Mark is taking um, a group of friends up with him as well, and it's also his birthday. So um, they're all going to be eating, drinking, and be merry. But as it's New Year, it's dry January. I'm eating a lot of vegetables, which means I'm quite gassy. Um, so teetotal, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, we're going to take, uh, we're, Lisa and I have got some corn chilli to do, we're just reheating that, we're not making it from scratch, but we're going to try and make some uh, some cookies, so we've got some uh, just add water mix, and then we're going to try and uh, make an oven again, like we did before with the Trangier, and just give that a go, I think that I've just got to give it longer and trust in the fact that it's going to work, and um, yeah, it's going to be good. So we're on the A66, we've probably got another hour to go, and um, we're going to be walking in the dark tonight, and um, it's snowing, so stay tuned. Stephen is ecstatically happy at this pack, it's only 9 kilos. Less than five minutes into the walk and we're having to put on some gloves. Lisa, can you feel your hands? Are you feeling hypodermic in the hand region? Another 10 minutes into the walk. Two Han than 10 minutes, you tell lies. Hands are uh, <coughs> sweaty, so off they come. Look at Rosie Red Face. Right, sit rep. So it's what, 20 past five, and um, can't really see anything in the distance. I can wave my head torch around, you won't see much. But we're just following the track along, the track's gonna drop into a valley, and then we go up and over another little ridge, and then basically we're on the, the level of the Bothy, so we're not far away at all. Um, Lee Lee's, um, well, she's doing very well actually. Um, bit of a runny nose, but she's been as ill as I was for quite a few months. So that's come back to haunt her and how's your ankle now? It's alright. It's not much further. I think we're about halfway now. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. Is it an easyish walking? Yes. Yeah. Oh good. Right, catch you in a bit. So just in front of us here now is a bridge which is quite a key. Uh, pointer on this route, it means that we're only about 10 minutes away from the Bothy, which is, you know, good. Um, not going to lie, your your breath actually blanks your head torch. Yeah, actually blanks your head. Be careful, there's no railings. Yeah, your breath actually blanks in front of uh, in front of the light beam, and you can't see a sodding thing. 
Um, I wish, I wish I'd sort of known that before I came out. Perhaps I would have worn contact lenses, but uh, anyway, we're nearly there now, which is great. We have actually seen some lights over at the Boffy. Um, we saw Mark's car back at the car park, so we know at least he's there. Um, I think uh, Lisa's ready for a sit down, um, and I'm ready to get something to eat. Ta-da! Well, if it's decent weather like it was this year, maybe. But if we get, if there's a chance of snow, it's way off. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mark. Happy birthday to you. I was just about to say the same thing, you've done really well there again, in a rucksack all the way up here. Very, very carefully. Morning folks, it's uh, very cold and uh, as you can see in the sky, the moon's just over the trees there. Uh, we haven't got any clouds so the temperature dropped right down. Frozen puddles and what have you, all the uh, moss and bog, you can hear it crunching and cracking under your feet. Uh, Lily used the Ravascent 700 uh, last night and she had had, she, she's got no complaints over that. Um, I don't think I'm going to see that bag again, that's uh, that's probably gone for the rest of my uh, rest of my days. I used the two three season down sleeping bags, one inside the other, so technically a six season sleeping bag. What do you say? Six season? Six season? And I was all right. I kept my beanie on all night. I did pull my uh, buff up and over my nose because um, that was a bit chilly. Um, but everybody's up now. Uh, we didn't see any ghosts. Um, and I'm ready for a bacon sandwich and a cup of coffee. So let's go and get that done. And it just looks its stunning up here this morning. Absolutely beautiful. Really impressed with it. Uh, good night all around. Some cracking people. Cost us Bob all. And uh, as a as a Yorkshireman, I quite like the uh, the cost implications of that. Tight.
Yeah. 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 Nothing left, exactly as it should be. Great night. You warm? Yeah. Are you alright? Yeah. Do you feel the warmth from the sun? Yeah. Do you think we're going to get a suntan? No. You can't see your breath in front of your face, can you? No. Yeah. And behind Lisa, just in the shadow, uh, you see there's a valley running down from behind uh, Lisa's right shoulder, and then as that valley comes down, that is exactly where the both is. And we are just following this track to the car pretty good isn't it Look how much energy Stephen has still got after our long walk there and back with his nine kilogram pack. Woohoo!